So, liebe Leute von heute, herzlich willkommen zurück hier bei Genshin Impact für die Playstation 4, wo wir nun den Legendenauftrag Nummer 2 von Nahida absolvieren werden, oder besser gesagt starten werden. Zurück in die Heimat, Sapientia Oromades, Oromastis, zweiter Akt. Wie geht's nach Hause? Eines Tages stoßt du und Paimon vor dem Tor der Stadt auf ein bekanntes Gesicht. Ja, machen wir es ja gleich. Ansonsten haben wir im letzten Part das Tor von Kenria gezeigt, was er ja sagt, jetzt mit Version 3.6 ins Spiel hinzugefügt wurde. Wir haben diese eine neue Hütte gezeigt, auf die mich Mio Kawasaki, Zuschauerin von Genshin Impact, hingewiesen hatte. Und sehr, sehr auch mal ein bisschen genauer angesehen. Was denn er sagt im Zusammenhang mit dem Legendenauftrag von Beiju stehen wird. Wir haben dann er sagt auch nochmal die markierte Stelle des einen Berges gezeigt, wo er sagt, eine Barriere drum ist und wo ich eigentlich dachte, da wären Pilze drin gewesen, aber waren, wie es aussieht, wohl am Ende doch, er sagt, bloß ein paar Steine. Was sich vielleicht, er sagt, auch mit dieser Version angepasst hat, weil da drin war jetzt auch ein Gebilde gewesen, was pocht wie ein Herz und was höchstwahrscheinlich dann auch im Zusammenhang wirklich mit dem Legendenauftrag von Beiju stehen wird. Außerdem haben wir sozusagen ein Hinterzimmer, also ein Sprechzimmer, und uns mal angesehen. Und danach habe ich jetzt noch mal versucht, das Video zu finden, wo ich ihr sagt zum allerersten Mal ja diese Stelle gezeigt habe hier im Spiel. Ansonsten ja, das Einzige, was wir gesehen haben, war natürlich im Part 77 haben wir zum allerersten Mal Beiju getroffen. Zum allerersten Mal haben wir dort dann auch das Dendro-Siegel. Beziehungsweise das, äh, das göttliche Dendro-Auge gesehen. Warte mal, göttliche Auge? Nein, die Dendro-Vision oder so ähnlich. Äh, doch, göttliches Auge stimmte doch. Gesehen und ja, jetzt wollen wir, sag, weitermachen mit dem zweiten Legendenauftrag. Und ansonsten, ja, ich wollte dann sowieso erst auch nochmal, wenn ich dann erstmal am Computer sitze, meine Bilddateien mal durchgehen in Bezug auf Genshin Impact. Seitdem ich, sag ja, im Jahr 2020 ja das Let's Play gestartet habe, habe ich ja kein einziges Bild, er sagt, so von meiner externen Festplatte gelöscht. Also irgendwo da muss er sagt doch jetzt das Original gewesen sein. Und vielleicht habe ich das auch irgendwie übersehen oder durch irgendwas anderes ausgetauscht. Aber ich war wirklich mit der Meinung, das Bild habe ich als Titelbild genommen. Aber ich finde es jetzt aktuell nicht. Hey, isn't that Nahida? Nahida! Paimon didn't think we'd run into you here. Oh, hey there. It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up to? Ach, das übliche halt. Überall hin reisen, Abenteuer erleben, Bergbau, Fischen, Karten spielen, Kresse, Kristallschmetterlinge fangen. Naja, und allen möglichen Leuten helfen. <lacht> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some weeds while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's soul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hm? Why is that? Ah, uh, das ist sicher der Einfluss von, Irm von Irmins soul. Ah, uh, vielleicht erinnert sie sich teilweise sag an Ruka Devata. Don't worry, we'll help you remember. Du kannst uns gern davon erzählen. Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Aha. Was ist das? Oh, it's beautiful. It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mhm. Mm I found it in the sanctuary of Suristana. But I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. 
Wahrscheinlich eine Hinterlassenschaft der höheren Herren Ruka Devata. Aber was ist mit der verschwommenen Erinnerung? Traveler, do you have any ideas? Ich weiß auch nicht, aber es beunruhigt mich. Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! Hat die Hydropilzbestie gerade Mama gesagt? I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Ich bin mir sagt ziemlich sicher, die Pilzbestie hat sowas wie Mama gesagt. Last warning. Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster. Please, don't worry. Hmm, I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. You can understand it? Mm hmm Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I can feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire need of our help. Well, fungi are kind of cute, but... Trommelkäppchen ist auch eine sehr gute Pilzbestie. Okay, let's go take a look. All right, lead the way, little fungus. Und somit beginnt. Look about the same. Some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see. It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. After all, they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not. And it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by shared emotions. It was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Hmm. Seems like they might be family. So maybe this fungus wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hm? What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Huh? An elemental life form? Yes. Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. Huh. Das ha also sie ist nur äußerlich eine Pilzbestie. Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. I'll see what I can do right away. My 
power was compatible. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Dendro. Is it really the Lord of Dendro? Natürlich, ein Elementarwesen kann er sagt natürlich auch sprechen oder es auch telepathisch mit anderen Lebewesen kommunizieren. Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Dendro saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and creature next to you. It can talk? Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. What? Of course Paimon can talk. Uh, Paimon isn't a strange creature. Paimon's just... Uh, Paimon! Hello, Paimon. I am not yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Oh, uh, well, no need to take it seriously. It's no big deal. But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? Nun, du musst nicht plötzlich an dir selbst zweifeln. You must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating, breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. So a creature may not speak, even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I dared not make the assumption that you could speak. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms but completely different interiors, just like fungi and slimes. Did this fungus study at the academia? It seems even more talkative than Paimon! You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. Let's find somewhere else to talk. It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. It says that it's very thankful for your help. Na gut. Dann ist es sicherlich kein Zufall, dass ausgerechnet dieses Elementarwesen hier in Sumeru aufgetaucht ist. Sie braucht die Hilfe des Dendro Archons, würde ich mal meinen. I was confident that I knew of all the creatures into that. Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes. I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge about them. However, even if I were to lay out the traits of all elemental life forms, you don't seem to match any of them. What are you? And where did you come from? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time, possibly longer than any records in existence. Also, jetzt sieht der Satz des Elementarwesen wie ein Quarena aus. My home was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. A horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us, twisting and warping us, causing us to lose control. We were victims of the apocalypse, yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. We later found out that humans know the power of the apocalypse and refer to it as forbidden knowledge. Ah, wieder das verbotene Wissen. Your home was destroyed by forbidden knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It's said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe of the desert should have ended a long time ago. 
The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both me and my family. Yes, how could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken away as the contamination inside of me was purged. Ah, I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of possibility. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? That's right. The forbidden knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home... should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quickly. I was unable to fulfill our calling. I never found a way to save my homeland, and I have even forgotten where it is. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. Where are they? Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure who else is still alive. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. Just leave it to me. I'll leave the rainforest to the Aranara. And as for the city, there are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. Oh, yeah! They'll give us a hand! Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. Tja, warum nicht? Die Aranara werden um Hilfe gebeten. That should do it. Vielleicht benachrichtigt sie auch irgendwelche Aranara, die, die auch wir kennen. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe that you will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a feeling you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? You might not remember, but this is a prophecy that we deeply believe in. That the Lord of Dendro will bring us home once the catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, oh, I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble to me at all. Would you all be willing to come with me somewhere as we wait? The more family members that can return home with me, the better. But didn't you say that you don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. I will explain it to you along the way. No, oh, das wird jetzt immer interessanter. Zurück in die Heimat. Sapientia Oromastis zweiter Akt. Also gut, begib dich dorthin, wo das Ende wartet. In 106 Metern. Wer hätte eigentlich gedacht, dass es jetzt so nah ist? Hm, ist er jetzt irgendwie doch ein bisschen näher als erwartet, muss man wirklich sagen. Und das Ende führt einen wiederum jetzt, äh, sag ins Meer? Something that I'm very concerned about. 
Der Kristall? Yes. I didn't mention it just now, but do you remember when I told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine, yet also different? The elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus. What? Es gibt eine Verbindung zwischen der Pilzbestie und dem Kristall. Dann ist es auch kein Zufall, dass sie ausgerechnet jetzt aufgetaucht ist. Exactly. The prophecy that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental life form that once represented its race. I had to deal with the forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. The process, however, took away some of my memories. That sequence of events would explain the persistent feeling that I had unfinished business. Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah, I've been trying to think of a place that fits the description of its homeland, but I'm unable to come up with anything. Dann müssen wir es weiter untersuchen. Aber ich gehe mal davon aus, dass damit der Sek jetzt auch das Gebiet der Pari gemeint ist. Weil, nun ja, diese Wesen, die er sagt jetzt in der Beschreibung oder besser in der Erzählung vorkam, die ähnelten jetzt, er sagt wirklich ein paar Quarena. Agreed. I really want to send them home, so they won't have to wander around anymore. Und wahrscheinlich führt uns, er sagt, diese Quest sowieso auch in das Gebiet der Quarena. Und generell, alles haben wir dort sowieso noch nicht erkundet. The road here is a little rough. I'll lead the way. Don't worry, Paimon can handle any road. Ah, enemies, get up, traveler. Ja, kein Problem. Kümmere mich drum, kümmere mich drum. Shine down. Gather. Okay, das Ganze war jetzt doch, er sagt, ein kleines bisschen übereilt. Gut, diese Schatzräuber. Ich meine natürlich diese Goldbrigade ist erledigt. With such skills you all would have definitely been able to find a way to survive the apocalypse. Uh, hey, Paimon has been meaning to ask. You all didn't originally look like this, did you? No, we didn't. The appearance of our kind will change according to the environment. After communicating with various living organisms in Sumeru, we discovered that fungi are the life form most adapted to live in these lands. Thus, we gradually took the form of fungi and became a part of their group. It's hard to believe that's even possible! The most important instinct any life form possesses is adapting to the environment. I don't think that should surprise you, Paimon. Your hand is shaped like that for a reason, so you are able to grip and use tools more easily. The reason why fungi absorb elemental power is to blend with the environment and fend off natural predators. We are Dendro life forms, one of the most ancient life forms in this land. That is why we are so adaptable. So you mean, if Paimon wanted to, Paimon could change into a different form as well? Not as freely, I'm afraid. 
You would require a long time to make that happen. Although this is common sense to us, it is still extremely difficult to explain. Hmm. Putting it as simply as possible, changing form requires energy, and energy comes with time. You cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly, nor can you force a tree to bear fruit overnight. I see. Humans have a term for this. It's called growth. Ah, you're so smart, Nahida! Paimon gets it now! Das Elementarwesen kann auch gut Metapher Metaphern verwenden. Growth. I see. Yes, then this is what you would call growth. A most beautiful word. I shall enjoy it more as we walk. Ja, dann gehen wir jetzt mal weiter. How much farther is it? We're about halfway there. You're doing great, Paimon. Do you need me to carry you on my back? Huh? Oh no, Paimon was just curious. Paimon isn't that tired. <laughs> he seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Uh, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head? We can figure out who will carry who later! We have monsters here! Naja, diese Monster sind es jetzt noch um wirklich einiges einfacher zu erledigen als ein paar Leute der Goldbrigade. Tja, dann gehen wir mal weiter. Hm, I think we may have a different understanding of carrying someone. No matter whether it's tired or not, my child is always happy when I put it on my back and give it a ride. Child? You mean the fungi we ran into earlier? Yes. One was my friend, and the other was my child. Why can't your kids speak? Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my presence to change or affect the original state of the fungi species here. However, it is slightly different from an ordinary fungus. It seems to understand some human language, so I gave it a name. Oh, then it must be a really cute name! You know, like Bongo Head! Hmm, you have an odd taste for names. Huh? Paimon thinks that name is great! Strange and cute at the same time. It's a name only Paimon would be able to come up with. <laughs> That's right! The name I came up with was not as creative as Paimon's. I learned it from an adventurer. It's... Its name is... I'm sorry, but I've forgotten. Uh, seems like I've forgotten many important things. Macht nichts, du kannst unterwegs darüber nachdenken. Yes, I must remember it before I return. It's just as important as my homeland. Also gut, die Hälfte des Weges haben wir jetzt yes, immerhin ja schon geschafft. Way. We're almost there. Es sieht aber irgendwie so aus, als wäre hier die Verwelkung. Oh nein, die Verwelkung ist wirklich hier. Also müssen wir uns auch darum jetzt kümmern. <lacht> 